Creality Ender 3 V2 printer. Got one sitting right here. Had warranty problems with it if you've been following along. Got some parts, new mainboard, new extruder. We're going to talk about it and put them in. Coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop as the saga continues with this uh, Ender 3 V2 3D printer. Uh, if you've been following along with uh, my adventures with this, you know I had some warranty issues with it. And for whatever reason, Banggood decided that uh, instead of just sending me a new main board, that uh, I would have to actually protest my credit card, which I did. And then I had to return the main board and the extruder to China and they paid for the return shipping which you've seen my update number three this was just ridiculous on the whole part of the company at any rate uh, since that's all done and I have now have a printer sitting here with no main board in it no extruder on it I went on Amazon bought a new main board it is for the Ender 3 V2 and it's the latest update and I bought a new dual gear extruder also on Amazon so I'm thinking once I get these put in we'll have a working printer again so gonna get to work here okay I have the diagram here at, uh, from Creality website I also took some pictures before I took the other main board out. This is wiring. I mean, I've done this for over 40 years, so this is no great big deal here. Just a matter of getting everything back where it needs to be and getting trash out of the way. So we'll get started here. I'm going to do the uh, power connections and the connections to the terminal strip here that require screwing down before I actually mount the board back into the bottom of the unit. Now I mentioned earlier in an earlier video that I will be building an enclosure and relocating the electronics, but for now let's just get everything working. I can always go back to that. No, it wasn't too bad. Now well, we'll get to the extruder.
Okay, this does not come with instructions. But I think I can figure this out. A little bag of parts here. An idea where that gear needs to be on the stepper motor. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to have to uh, turn the hot end on and get this piece of filament out so I can put the Bowden tube back in. Okay, just to give you a little update while I'm going to heat up this hot end to uh, take the uh, old filament out and get the Bowden tube reconnected and everything. I did plug this in when I turned it on it came right on because as I said before I knew what the problem was. The main board had failed with the original one. Nobody seemed to believe me, I guess, but new main board in there, boom, we're back up and going. So I'll get this uh, I'll hook back up, and I'll probably have to re-level the bed after all this fiddling around with this, and I'm definitely going to have to calibrate this extruder, but I'm going to do a little test print here, hopefully, today. So here's the update. I uh, got the Bowden tube in. I'm a filament loaded. Turn it back on, and the motherboard failed again. I can't believe I would have two bad boards. But, uh, I got the meter out, checked power supply. I got perfect 24 volts DC, and of course everything's wired correctly because it did come up and it heated the bed and it heated the uh, hot end and did everything like it was supposed to. So now I got to figure out where to go from here. Uh, I can't hardly believe I would have two boards fail exactly the same way unless there's some other component on here that uh, would lead for that to fail. 
Uh, I tried uh, unplugging all the stepper motors and turning it back on and of course that did nothing either. I have no display again. I'm right back to where I started. So uh, I have to do some thinking about where I'm going to go from here. But anyway that's the uh, latest update on this uh, adventure. If you got something out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions on Maybe you've uh, worked with one of these that has a similar problem. I'd love to hear it. Please put something in the comments. Otherwise, uh, I'm Roger in the shop. Actually above the shop. Frustrated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.